Yo, what's going on? This is Jay Damage. I'm back again with another video. And, um, shit, I already said in my last video I was going to watch another video. So we're going to go ahead and keep this train rolling. Now, uh, what we're going to talk about right now is the Meg the Stallion, Megan the Stallion case. And uh, Tori Lanes and her friend Kelsey. We're going to go ahead and watch this right quick. And then I'm going to give y'all my review of what I think uh, actually happened in the situation. Right now, they're in court. Currently, they're on their third day in court. Uh, I think they're not even going to be done with court until like next week. So um, we're going to go ahead and get into this. And then I'll give y'all my thoughts. Let's go. Let's get right to our cover story. Megan Thee Stallion taking the stand. The Grammy winner giving emotional testimony in the assault trial against the rapper accused of shooting her in the foot. Stephanie Ramos has the details. Good morning, Stephanie. Hey, Michael. Good morning. She low-key look good in that purple. I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> I don't really like the purple. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because it almost looked like some Batman Joker-ass suit. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I think it's a reason why she's wearing that purple because I think if if I'm not mistaken, I'm not sure, but I feel like purple represents domestic violence or something like that. And I think she was probably trying to wear that suit to make like a statement or something. But we're going to go ahead and continue and see what's going on. Morning, superstar rapper. We're going to skim through this video because there's no reason for us to be hearing these other people talking like that. Megan the Stallion said fellow hip hop artist Tory Lanez was a friend until he ordered her to dance before he shot her feet in 2020 after a party. She says she couldn't walk for a while and still has nerve damage. Yeah. She was twerking right after that, so I don't believe that. And um, like she can barely walk. And it's very hard for me to believe that he said dance, bitch, dance. Like, uh, that, I don't, that just doesn't sound real to me. I'm not saying that nigga didn't do it. I'm just saying the whole dance, bitch, dance thing, that sound crazy. <laughs> if that is true, that's crazy. Overnight, rap star Megan B. Stallion taking the stand, testifying against fellow rapper Tory Lanez, who prosecutors say shot Stallion in both of her feet after a party in 2020. <laughs> Stallion, a three-time Grammy Award winner with hit songs like Body. <laughs> Describing a heated argument she got into with Lanes and a close friend after leaving a party at Kylie Jenner's house in Los Angeles, which she says led to the shooting. The rapper telling the court Lanes began to immediately apologize, saying, please don't say anything. I'll give you $1 million. I already got caught with a gun and added, I can't go to jail. I'm on probation. Lanes' attorney refuting that his... Now, they just revealed that Tory Lanes wasn't even on probation for no pistol, so that's questionable, too, for him to be saying something like, yo, uh, I mean, but... It's, it's weird to me because I can kind of believe the whole bribing thing, but just the way that he said it is hard for me to believe that, though. But let, let's continue. His client fired the weapon, saying this case is about jealousy and envy. You'll hear more when the witness, the neighbor, who t will tell you that there was two women fighting and that the same witness told the police five minutes after the shooting that there, he saw two females fighting. Megan's attorney telling ABC News the defense's jealousy claims are, quote, an obvious distraction tactic in a case in which he's obviously guilty. She's a victim of a shooting, and that's what this case is about, and that's the truth. End of story. Megan's testimony was really emotional, but I think probably more importantly, it felt authentic. And that makes sense, because I think one of the reasons that Meg Thee Stallion has been so successful... Okay, I think we can go ahead and end it right there. But, um, okay, so first off, listening to the story, it just doesn't sound real to me. And, uh... I know what some people are going to say. Oh, you know, you got something against this woman, whatever, whatever, which I don't have nothing against the woman because at the end of the day, somebody shot her. Somebody, well, whether she was shot, stepped on glass, something happened to her. So I'm not sure who did what to her, but something happened to her. But what I think it is, and this is just my opinion of what I think happened. I think that you know, they all had got together 
they was, of course, partying and doing their thing or whatever. And I'm just going by the things that I'm hearing. I think that they was all partying and whatever together. And what ended up happening is they all got super drunk. Anybody that's been to clubs, parties, just been around drunk people, especially drunk hood females. Because, I mean, that's what she kind of portrays herself to be. I'm not really sure if she really is a female that's from the hood. But, you know, if you've been around drunk hood females, you know how this activity is. There's this arguing, random fights, like, you know, uh, uh, they'll pull out weapons, all type of wild shit. So, like, based off from what I'm hearing, what this shit sounds like, it just sounds like some females going back and forth. They started fighting. They start fighting in the middle of the damn street because uh, they said they found um, the other girl's chain on the ground and shit. They probably was in the middle of the streets, mother fighting. And uh, uh, what's what's her name? Uh, 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 Kelsey might have put out the mother gun and uh, getting ready to shoot them. And uh, they probably got into a tussle over the gun. And that's probably how she got hit. It's just very hard for me to believe that Tory Lanez just got mad at her over some shit she said, just pulled out the pistol and just shot her over some shit she said. And the only reason why I'm saying it, does, it, it just don't sound like him because he has no history of shit like that. So you got to understand like a person's character. Just it, it, if you go look up Tory Lanez, if you've seen him over the years, he don't really have like violent cases against women and shit like that. Like, usually dudes who do shit like that, they usually have a history. When a man is super overly aggressive with a woman, a lot of times that comes with a history. Like, he done did this shit with other women. For him to go straight to the gun, straight to shitting her, I feel like that's kind of extreme. Now, if I would have heard about him hitting her, you know, and shit like that, now, that would be a little bit more believable. But him going straight to the gun... That almost like sounds like he was in fear of her or something like that to go straight to the gun. And for him to be like, dance, bitch, dance. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Like, this nigga is like, if, if he really did it in that type of fashion, yo, he's a wild dude. I know dudes that's done beat on a girl, all type of shit. And I ain't never heard of nothing like that. So it, this whole story just doesn't sound believable to me. But I do believe that something did happen to that girl. I just think that they probably really don't know. I think that they always drinking, partying, and going that f***ing hard that they don't know. What I think needs to happen, lock all three of these motherfuckers up for about three months. <laughs> Get a three months just for this whole stupid situation. And then once the situation is over, make everybody else go to motherfucking alcohol rehab. Uh, what they call that shit, alcohol anonymous. Everybody take your ass to alcohol anonymous and don't ever do this goofy shit again. Because this whole situation is just goofy. The way that, you know, um, they going through this whole court process. If anything, man, I feel like all of them should be in trouble. Just for letting it even get out of hand this goddamn far. So that's that's my opinion in this situation. Uh, you know, I'm praying for uh, Megan Thee Stallion. I'm praying for her to, um, to get some help if she really be getting drunk like that. And having sex and doing all this wild if she really out here going that hard, she might need to damn near get some help. But uh, y'all let me know y'all opinions in the comments section. But uh, that's it for this video. If y'all like this video, go ahead and hit like, comment, subscribe, uh, hit that notification, uh, hit that notification bell. And we're going to go ahead and keep the ball rolling. We're going to do another video for the night. And then we're going to call this tonight. So I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.